no longer a free election, whether it's a weaponized uh, Justice Department, but voting for the end of democracy. Just oh, 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 oh. what is that? That's because it's hot outside. This is the type of paranoia that really gets my gears going. We have a vote. We're going to have a vote this fall. And yes. uh, I know a lot of uh, Republicans, uh, uh, John Meacham would call them Peter Millar vest wearing Republicans. This year, you're not just voting for a Republican. It's a Bless vote you. for a candidate who doesn't believe. And in the most basic principles of American democracy, and we could get on the list, but I really don't want to waste my breath on it. Exactly. Everybody don't actually go on the list because then you'll actually have to prove to your viewers what you're talking about. Make sure to stay within the vague context so that it gets people going, gets people freaked out, because that's what we're all about at MSNBC. You serious, Clark? Let's freak people out to the umph degree and make sure they think that everyone on the other side of the aisle is incredibly racist and incredibly insane. You won. Pratt's. What's the difference? No, it's a vote actually for somebody that does not subscribe to the most basic precepts of American democracy against a candidate who does. You're not just wrong, you're stupid. Now wait just a minute. We've said many times on the show when an authoritarian tells you what they're going to do, you pay attention to him. Well, now his followers are telling you what they're going to do, so you pay attention to it. And for anybody in Joe, you can tick off the list. We can all tick off the list, whether it's no longer a free election, whether it's a weaponized uh, Justice Department, whether it's a un A weaponized Justice Department? Are you talking about Joe Biden? Oh, no, you're talking about Trump. So we're just... Okay. Pendant Federal Communications Commission, on and on and on. We can go. When anybody says to, to me, well, that's not really going to happen because we've got checks right. and balances in the institutions, right. you're already seeing there will be no checks and balances. So not only do we have the tell from Fearless right. Leader, we have the tell from the Lemming followers. So there's no mystery here. So there is absolutely no mystery here. So any I like a little mystery in marriage. It's like, don't just dress naked i want to see you in a dress i want to picture you in my head <laughs> these people are absolutely insane continue anybody that votes republican and doesn't understand you are voting for the end of democracy just pay attention to the sunday shows this past weekend and the other thing i want to say we've talked a lot about if you vote republican you're voting for the end of democracy <sighs> it's ending these people are absolutely insane they're viewers Listen, if you're an MSNBC viewer, I am sorry. You are so paranoid and so full of anxiety, you have probably a disorder. It's called MSNBC General Anxiety Disorder, and you have some schizophrenic tendencies where you start to hear these things. You're like, ah, is this real? Is this unreal? These people, I cannot stand the corporate press to the umph degree. These people are insane. These people should be held liable for the things that they've done. These are the reason why people are so insane. I like that people in the media like to try to blame podcasts. Like the podcasts are seen as like these cringy fringe right wing or left wing extremists. No, no, no. You guys are. You guys have all the power. You get shoved down our throats through contracts, through Comcast and all that kind of crap. You guys are forced down our throats and then you continue down this paranoia dream of Donald Trump becoming Hitler himself. Oh my God, I swear to God. He's literally becoming Hitler before our eyes and you need to be freaked out. Tell your Democrat friends and neighbors what has Trump done that makes you, that warrants this? What has Trump done that actually th makes you believe that you should be paranoid to the point where you should be fearing the end of democracy as itself? Like Donald Trump is going to become president and then get the crown placed upon his head. He is going to be seen as leader for all for the rest of eternity. Next will be Baron Trump. When, before that, we'll have uh, Donald Trump Jr. next. You know, the Don. We'll have him next. And then we'll just go down the line full of all Trumps, and we'll have Trumps for the history. The rest of America will finally have world peace, and we'll finally be a great country again because we'll have King Donald Trump in charge. <laughs> God. Can you imagine actually believing these people or holding anything they say seriously? Don't. Laugh at these people, mock these people, because that's what they should be. I know they have suits on, so that means that they need to be taken seriously. When daddy has his tie on, you need to listen to daddy. But you don't need to listen to daddies. Because that's gay.
Have a wonderful day. <laughs> Make sure to drop a like on this video if you don't mind and put a comment below. And let me know your thoughts on the paranoia of the media. Are they gone? Have they gone too far? Should they be reined in a little a schmidge? You be the judge. Tell me. Bye bye bye.